Welcome to Great Britain, home of Winston Churchill, Victoria Sponge Cake, and Syrian refugees like me. First of all, thank you for having me and the other 135,000 or so refugees who live here. We come from all over the world, from Africa, from Asia, oh, and some more civilized countries in Europe. We make up around 0.2% of your population. However, given our strong media presence, you might have been under the impression that the country is completely and utterly and totally full up, full up, full up. People risk their lives crossing seas and deserts to come here. But when we arrive, the journey is far from being over. We must rebuild our lives in an unfamiliar land where we sometimes feel just a tiny bit unwelcome. Thankfully, we have the Bike Project Charity, which makes things a lot easier. The Bike Project Charity takes unwanted bikes, refurbishes them, and then donates them to asylum seekers and refugees in the UK. Upon arriving to Britain, I was so eager to enjoy the luxurious accommodation the Daily Mail told me so much about. Sadly, the reality is more like this. This is Napier Barracks in Folkestone, where hundreds of asylum seekers are housed. Most of them are fleeing war zones and imprisonment. When they arrive, they find themselves in a place like this living in conditions that have been ruled unlawful and inhumane. One of the things I was most excited about when arriving in London was your famous party scene. Unfortunately, asylum seekers have to survive on 39 pounds a week only. We're not even allowed one job, let alone two or three, like some people. So traveling into town to go clubbing isn't really an option. This is where the bike project comes in. When you barely have enough money to eat and you're trapped in a system that takes away all your agency, the freedom a bicycle offers can change your life completely. The Bike Project has donated over 9,000 bikes so far. They also run programs to build community and teach cycling skills. An often overlooked problem facing newcomers to your jolly little island is the loneliness of being an outsider. However, over time, I have learned the great British art of conversation. Splendid weather we're having today, mate. Fall off! Jolly good. Luckily, the Bike Project is here to help. Their Bike Buddies program matches each refugee with a friendly Brit, helping to tackle isolation and encourage social integration. Cup of tea? Yes, please. Mmm, <sighs> lovely jubbly. A bike can't fix the UK's broken asylum system, but in its own way, it can make things a little easier for people. Will you stand with refugees? Sign our declaration.